Yes, yes, people, this is the match reaction for the game that just happened. It switched town to Aston Villa 2, bro. And I have to say, man, I'm fuming, bro. Absolute shambles of defensive performance. I've had, to, I've had to come out, you know what I mean? Get some fresh air after that performance, bro. Defensively, absolutely shocking. And I don't mean to be disrespectful, but Diego Carlos, bro. It may be time for you to learn Arabic. And if you need to learn, yeah, shout me, bro. I'll teach you, bro. Absolute shambles today, man, especially for that uh, Liam Dilap goal, that second goal. He got twisted up, bro. He got sent for a McFlurry, a Snickers bar, bro. He got absolutely cooked, man. Them stepovers absolutely sent him. Liam Dilap had him all game. He had him on toast the whole game, man. But let's get straight into it, people. Lineup came out, and I see Ezri Kansa right back. And I see Diego Carlos centre back. That's one mistake. One mistake. Unai Emery. You can't play Ezri Kansa right back. It's not his preferred position. He didn't look comfortable today as well. And like I said with that uh, second goal, Kansa, he got caught out position. I don't blame him as well because he's not a right back. Brother, he is not a right back, so I don't blame him. Whenever Ezri Kansa does play right back, you know what I mean? We, teams do kind of target that area because they know that we're not strong uh, on, on that side. And all I'm saying is as well, if we play that back four, yeah, if we play Diego Carlos against Bayern Munich, I'm just going to get this out there, bruv. I'm going to lose count how many goals go in the back of the net, bro. That's all I'm saying, man. We're going to lose count. We're going to lose count, man. Shocking, man. Diego Carlos, bro. Absolutely shocking. Um, but yeah, people, let's get straight into the goal. Uh, the first one, Ezri Kansa, he tries to clear it. Uh, ball drops to one of their players. Cross comes in and then Dilap scores. Emi Martinez, I have to say, should do better looking back. You know what I mean? He'll say it himself that he should probably save that. Uh, but yeah, Liam Dilap gets that first goal. And soon we equalise with Morgan Rogers. I think it's Reeves. He tries to clear the ball. Um, drops to Morgan Rogers. Him and Ollie Watkins, great link-up player. And I have to say as well, their link-up play has been very, very good. Uh, but yeah, Watkins plays it to Rogers. Um, and then, yeah, man, very, very good finish from uh, Morgan Rogers. And you can see Amadou Onana in the background uh, celebrating before the goal goes in. And we'll have to touch on Onana's performance as well, bro. Today, Amadou Onanimous, bro. That midfield today from Villa, bro, it got ran through. It got ran through, man. Onana today, for me... Didn't show up, man. Uh, there wasn't no control in that midfield, you know what I mean? The game was just getting bypassed by him. Um, yeah, man, not good enough today, not good enough. Um, but then, yeah, it was 1-1. And of course, Ali Watkins as well, he got on the score sheet. Liam Bailey, beautiful cross, right foot as well, you know what I mean? The cross comes in and then Ali Watkins with a great header as well. Uh, and then, yeah, man, it's 2-1, 2-1. First half, I have to say, it switched town, you know what I mean? They were kind of pressing us, kind of tight on us. Um, we had a bit of control here and there, but in that second half, bro, control was completely gone. Like I said before, that midfield got run through. Defensively, they were getting in behind us. They had more shots on target, you know what I mean? The expected goals were much more than us as well. Um, and then, yeah, man, like, towards the end, of course, like I said before, they get the equaliser. Liam Dillab absolutely cooks Diego Carlos, bro. Dumb stepovers, bro. Diego Carlos got dazed, bro. He's probably still dazed right now, man. But yeah, man, they get the equaliser, Dilaps 2-2, two, two, man. Unai makes a few changes, brings on Barkley, Bundy and Ian Matson and stuff. Uh, tries to bring that control in that midfield with Ross Barkley. Barkley had a good chance as well um, uh, when, when, he, when he came on. Uh, but yeah, man, not good enough people, not good enough. And just, we'll touch on Emi Martinez as well. He made some world-class saves as well. Um, some great saves he made in that first half as well. Uh, Sam Morsey, bro. Oh my days, bro. It should have been Sam Moore. See you later. How was this guy still on the pitch? That referee, bro. Yeah, Stuart Atwell. That's his name, innit? Bro, how did you not send him off after he stood on Tielemans' foot? Yeah, well, yeah, it was Tielemans, innit? How is he not getting uh, a, a, a second yellow? How is he not getting off the pitch, bro? The referee today, absolutely shocking, absolutely poor, man. Sam Moore, he should have been off. He should have been off the pitch, man. He should have been off the pitch, but overall, we have to blame ourselves defensively. We're leaking too many goals. We're leaking too many goals in the thing with Ipswich Town. This season, bruv, the man been on a goal drought, bruv. Their goals have been drying up like the Sahara Desert. They couldn't score goals. They couldn't score goals, man. But guess what? Villa will come to your ground and will let the man score. Shambles, man, shambles. Against Bayern Munich, I'm just saying this. Defensively, we have to be on it. I want to see Ezri Kansa right back. I want to see Nadalkovic. Um, sorry, I want to see Ezri Kansa centre back. Yeah, centre man, right back. I want to see Nadalkovic right back. I want to see Pau Torres and I want to see Ian Matsunuka in today, bro. Pfft, not for me, man. Not for me. Today wasn't good enough going forward. Nothing really there. Um, 
the game and there wasn't that bright spark going forward from him. I thought Jaden Filagin as well, when he came on, I don't want to get on that, I don't want to get onto the players, but Jaden Filagin when he came on today, for me, you know what I mean, he was losing the ball a bit too much. But yeah man, today people, I have to say it wasn't good enough man, it wasn't good enough and yeah man, we've got a big game now against Bayern Munich on Wednesday, huge, huge game people. Um, yeah man, let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments below, what did you guys make of the game? Um, yeah, like I said, defensively, it was a shambles of a performance, I have to say, man. But yeah, people, stay tuned for the match preview against Bayern Munich. Huge, huge game, man. Huge, huge game. Hopefully, we get a result there. Uh, Bayern Munich are flying right now, I have to say, man. But yeah, people, stay tuned for the match preview. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Up the villa.